pathology of Alzheimer's disease. There is atrophy of the brain with dilated ventricles and shrinkage of hippocampus and diffuse atrophy of cerebral cortex. Cortex shrivels up and damages the area involving thinking, planning and remembering. Shrinkage is especially severe in hippocampus and hippocampus is critical to the formation of new memories. Most serious pathology at autopsy is seen in hippocampus, temporal cortex and nucleus bacillus of Maynard. In severe stages there is visual problems. So what are the microscopic features in Alzheimer's disease? Extracellular and intracellular. In extracellular there are neuritic plaques containing A beta amyloid and in intracellular silver staining neurofibrillary tangles are found in the neuronal cytoplasm. Neurofibrillary cytoplasmic plaques represent abnormally phosphorylated tau proteins and they are associated with microtubule. Tau proteins are paired helical structures associated to microtubule and interfere with its blood supply thereby damaging the neuron. What's the normal function of tau protein? Normally tau protein function is to assemble and stabilize microtubule but increased accumulation of tau protein disturbs the normal process. And number three a beta 42 amyloid in arterial walls of the cerebral blood vessel. A beta 42 is the most toxic of these proteins. What's the first biochemical injury in Alzheimer's disease? Accumulation of soluble amyloid fibrils called oligomers lead to dysfunction of the cell. Accumulation of oligomers eventually leads to formation of neuritic plaques that contain amyloid proteoglycans and other proteins. Amyloid precursor protein APP are normally neurotropic and neuroprotective and what's amyloid angiopathy? There is accumulation A beta 42 amyloid in arterial wall of cerebral blood vessel. Accumulation of beta amyloid in cerebral arteries is termed amyloid angiopathy. Amyloid plaques obstruct cerebral or neuronal blood flow. Amyloid angiopathy can lead to ischemic infarction or hemorrhage.